Hey everybody, I'm going to make another video of how to raise the bunk in the Freightliner Cascadia. It's uh, a nice big bed and can be, uh, it's, it's bigger than the one in the uh, Volvo, that's for sure. A little wider, a little longer, uh, although it does have some spaces at the end of the bed, at the head and the foot. Uh, I don't really care for it because my pillow sinks down in there. I'm going to have to get me something to put in there. But anyway, in the meantime, uh, since I made the first video, which turned out to be two videos, uh, one of me talking and one of me opening the bunk, I have a, a got me a microwave to put in my truck. It's a nice little 750 watt microwave, and uh, I just run it off my uh, inverter on an extension cord when I want to heat something up or cook something, whatever. And it's a uh, awfully hot in here it's towards the middle of May so but let me turn this camera around a little bit and I'll show you my microwave that I have in here that's my microwave hope you can see it get a little light in here yeah I got me a red one and uh, it really works good uh, whatever name brand it is I can't remember well anyway it really works good if it's right in that cubby hole I had a uh, microwave that was bigger that I always had to bring out from under the bunk or put it up on the table and then put it back under the bunk and that got to be old. So that one's at home sitting outside on a shelf. I really need to donate it to uh, somebody or, or an organization so they can get more use out of it than I do. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how the uh, open the uh, bunk, the lower bunk and how it lifts up. Hopefully it's not too dark under there. I'll have to get on my knees and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm down here on the floor a little bit on one knee and uh, I'm going to turn the camera around now and show you where the lever is to open the bunk. The lever is right here. It, uh, well, I thought at first it was a handle to open this cabinet, but that's not a cabinet. That is where the air comes out for the air conditioning or the heater. And uh, so it doesn't open that cabinet. I didn't want to open it. But I asked the guy, how do I get my bunk up? And he said, you pull that lever. So what you do, you pull this lever and it releases the bunk. It's supposed to. Although the bunk is a little hard to get up by itself. Anyway, that's the lever, and it takes two hands to raise the bunk, so I'll be right back. All right, like I said, it takes two hands to raise the bunk, and uh, it really makes it nice, because in the newer models, they did put, put a couple of chairs back here with some lights. Let me turn the lights on. There's one light. There's another light. Whoa. Okay. We've got these chairs back here that we can raise up. If you think you're going to raise it up, it's not going to come. There's a lever right back here that you have to push down on. It's right beside the uh, chair. That takes two hands too. So let me see if I can do this while the camera's running. There we go. Got that one up. Now I'm going to see if I can raise this one. Push that little lever down with your thumb. Sorry. I raise the seat and it locks. Locks back. Got some little lights down here. And I also have this table. A nice table. It's a little low to the ground, but there is a handle here that you can pull out. Pull out and then just lift it up and it lifts up and locks into place. So there you have what you need as far as uh, getting the chairs up and getting the table up. The table is quite nice. It's a nice big table. It's got to be, what, 20 inches or so? And it's big enough to, to 
to have dinner on, which I do sometimes. Sometimes I sit back here on the table and put my phone up and uh, do whatever, watch a movie or, or uh, check Facebook or whatever. Sorry about that. Then it goes back down the opposite way and uh, I'll show you that too. Just pull this lever down, push it down a little bit, then lower it the rest of the way. Then push these knobs here, well, pull them. The seat comes down, and you can also see there's one over here. You pull it, the seat goes down. Okay, at the present time, oh, there's a light up here too, I want to show you. A little light you can turn on and uh, read, eat, whatever. And it comes down, I think, about the same way. Pull this, pull this handle, and hopefully it won't fall on my head. And uh, just lower the bed down. Well, I gotta get past the, the ladder. And the bed comes down, locks into place. And that's how you raise the bed on the freight liner. Cascadia. This is a 2019. It's a real nice truck. I love driving it. Got a lot of safety features on it. And uh, I've got so far, I got 82, 83,000 miles on it. And I haven't had the truck a year yet. So I'm going to put many more miles on it before uh, I ever get rid of it. Or I guess I should say the company ever gets rid of it. And I'm trying to get rid of all the light. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, anyway, this is Jeff, the old trucker. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.